this is courtesy of the shade bar, right? And I thought this was an interesting topic to kind of speak about because <laughs> I don't know, like I generally hate like dating topics and all that sort of stuff. Cause I think it's redundant. And I think unfortunately in the podcasting space, content c- creation space, especially with, you know, us blacks, we tend to kind of go to these topics because we don't, you know, know what else to talk about. Right. We don't really have the gumption to try other things. So we go for the things that most people will connect with, which is kind of, you know, love relationships, marriage, family, whatever. We all kind of share that universal story, but it can kind of get a bit tiresome. But I saw this random quote randomly on flipping Shadeborough and it actually made me pause because it made me think, imagine if you were actually in a position to try and approach Leo or no, you you manage in position to actually approach Leomi because the first thing is to say Leomi Anderson obviously is one of the premier UK models here. Um, I kind of know her specifically, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't she on like a TV show? like a competition for models. I think that's where I kind of are familiar with her when she was really young. I think if I'm not mistaken, there's some sort of talent show thing, if I'm not mistaken. But most recently she's been known for just doing her own thing. She's got her own brand. She's also famous for dating Lancey Foe, who's a big rapper here. And it's kind of bursting and becoming a little bit more popular overseas due to TikTok, funnily enough, which is great to see. But she recently announced that they have kind of broken up or not kind of they are. So she's single now. And she posted this tweet, which I thought was hilarious, right? She says the following, people will mess up and be like, quote unquote, let's talk. If you don't go and buy me a Chanel bag or roses and a trip to Jamaica, what is there to talk about? And it's a bit blunt. It's a bit flippant. It might be a bit of a troll because she does like a little bit of a joke. She's a bit of a jester online. She doesn't take herself too seriously, but it does put into real clear black and white <laughs> how challenging it must be trying to follow up on what Lancey Foe must have been doing. You know, pause, no home or whatever I need to say after that to not make me sound like a cuck, right? Imagine how difficult it must be to try to follow up that adventure that they were on. Because they're essentially like on some, they're on some fucking Bonnie and Clyde thing, in it, right? Two rock star guys in the, you know, in the fucking peaks of that, no, coming up in the scene, super young, you know, on that journey from being relatively unknown to being big stars in their own right. I felt like as well from the outside looking in, I didn't feel like there was a, a power imbalance either. It kind of felt like they were both kind of, you know, no one was too far ahead of each other on in either part of their journey, which kind of helped to probably not stir up any thoughts of, you know, jealousy and shit. And they got money, they got famous, they blew up, um, traveled the world, took amazing pictures together, you know, did amazing things. <laughs> now they've broken up and some other guy now has to try <laughs> and match the pace or whatever else is offered. And you think about it, right? Lancey Fo is one of the biggest or better artists that we have coming up now from the quote unquote underground scene, right? The thing that isn't UK rap or that isn't drill. But by default, that means he then gets invited to things that only someone that does the things that he does would get invited to. So <laughs> even if you've got means, you can't, you know, there's certain things you just won't be invited to go to or you won't be able to go to because maybe you're working and shit. So it just really kind of limits the amount of people that she can probably date who can offer her that sort of lifestyle. But it's also very challenging to whoever the guy is that takes up that challenge because even if you've got the money, can you actually really do it <laughs> like day to day like is it actually possible but then the other side of me thought to myself like i really do understand the city girl mentality because there is an aspect of it that's a little bit you know kind of fooling yourself because you know you're basically saying you're happy to live this life and this is all you want when really sometimes you're maybe looking to live that life for the time being and then when somebody great comes along you're willing to change it up but you know whatever say what you want to say about it i understand it in the sense of there's always somebody out there that's going to be willing ready and able to pay not to kind of not pay to kind of um, satisfy your needs whatever that may be in that city girl lifestyle so i'm i also understand why some girls don't want to sell i get it because if you're, you know, if you're Leomi, why would you settle for less when you've had what you've had before? Like, you know, there's no need to because you've had it once. So if you've had it once, I mean, it's possible. It's like with all dreams. It's like with all fucking, you know, with everything we sort of chase in life. The fact that some what one person did it should be enough proof for you that 
you can do it too. You should never be kind of limited um, to the limits of your imagination. Like if somebody has done it and, you know, and that's a human, <laughs> then you should be able to do it also. So I understand why she doesn't want to, you know, why should I settle for some guy that's going to take me to Nando's when I had this guy fly me out to Cabo or to fucking Paris to come and meet him for a day and then fly me back again? Like, why would I do that? So I completely understand it. But it then puts another sort of slant in it, which I think the made you think guy said here in the comment that a lot of this is very shallow and very materialistic, which is concerning because it looks like people sort of view materialism as a form of love or as the same thing as love when it isn't it's it's different but it's not the same thing and they read and i think unfortunately leomi can say what she says here because she's in like let's say the top five percent of people in terms of money wealth attractiveness and access and shit so you can afford to say that because most likely you're going to meet somebody who can fulfill your desires but regular people most regular people who follow her especially women they don't have that you know luxury but they view these people and see that those people are living that way and expect that in their regular life when that's not regular <laughs> right it's not it just isn't um that's the only other thing but again it's not her concern she shouldn't be worrying about what people think and how they view their relationships and blah 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 and putting unfair expectations of people but it does need to be highlighted i think he even said it here this comment from made you think 101 great instagram page check them out um they said respect and principles shouldn't have a price or tie to materials gifts and money are great when it's coming from a great place but shouldn't trade it for respect and your principles which I definitely understand and definitely get 100%. But again, if you've had it before and you can have it again, why not? Um, thoughts and prayers go out to the boys or the ladies, whoever there may be, they may follow up on Lancey and try and make that work. But I don't envy you in that position, mate. I do not envy you.